Hey guys, the wait is over. I actually got my hands on the Sharp Aquas Crystal. Let's get into this. So without further ado, here is the Sharp Aquas Crystals. Let me get to the seat and stuff right here. This is how it comes like most of these prepaid phones. Uh, the Sharp Aquas Crystals uh, is a 4G LTE. It's, this is the Boost Mobile version. I really wanted to get it on Virgin, but uh, Boost Mobile actually changed their plans to $35 with one gig of data and unlimited talk and text. And I think that's pretty good for prepaid. So uh, the specs on here, no, they're not. So let me read them to you real quick. Specs on this guy, 10 millimeters in thickness. 720 display coming in at a five inches with 294 pixels per inch and we've got Harman Kardon audio I just that's I'm really excited about that the screen on here is going to be like the speaker the receiver so it's gonna be really nice has an SD card takes up to 128 gig so I've got my one of my 64 gigs 8 gigs built on 1.5 gigs of RAM so that should be pretty nice it is LTE, like I said before, and it runs on Sprint's network. Eight megapixel on the back, 1.2 on the front. Shoots in 1080p, has HDR, panorama, face detection, geotagging, LED flash on the camera. Should be really nice. Runs KitKat 4.4.2, has a quad core 1.2 gigahertz A7. It's a Snapdragon 400, obviously. And it has the Adreno 305. What's the battery like in here? It's gonna be 20, 40 milliamps. So enough, enough, enough. Let's get it going. I was actually pretty excited about this this phone a while back when I first heard it was coming out. And uh, Boost is actually offering $100 if you switch from a different provider. And um, I can show you how to do that to get this phone for 100 bucks. So it, everything fell out here, but um, here's the getting started and what's in here. Uh, never never dealt with boost before but it's basically just sprint so this just looks like some manuals and stuff you guys don't care about that a bag to recycle your old phone which that's not gonna happen so yeah let's pop open this portion here it says open right here let's see you get the phone itself and this phone weighs hundred and forty one grams so this is the white this is the one I was kind of interested in. And let's see here. Here's how you take the back off. There you go. So it says there's a, there's actually a nano SIM in there. Get out. There's a nano SIM. <laughs> I, I had no idea about SIM card in this phone, actually. Uh, but there's actually a nano SIM in there. And let me put the 64 gig card in here. Wow, get out. So I, again, I've never dealt with uh, Boost before. So uh, there you go. All right, so in here you get the usual charging brick and power. You don't care about that. Uh, let's get this thing fired up here. And uh, I'll be right back. Let me clear this off. All right, desk clear, boxes put away. Let's peel this back and uh, get it fired up. Oh man, yeah. I was so waiting to get my hands on this, guys. If you follow my video back in the day, I was amped about this. This actually feels really good in the hand. So volume rock on this side. Up top, you've got the headphone jack, the power button. Make sure I got it snapped in. On the bottom, you've got another microphone. Charging port there, microphone on the back. There's a speaker back there. And you've got... Uh, your 8 megapixel with a single LED flash. Some branding down here, but nothing that says boost or anything. That'll probably be when you power it on. Now, the unique part about this device is the sensors and the camera had to all be positioned at the bottom instead of the top to make this phone work the way they want it to work. So we're gonna power it on and I'll show you first boot. Pretty exciting to uh, get my hands on this device. Again, I was I was really excited about it. This should be a great matchup against the iPhone 6. Um, so let me activate and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so we are in. Looks like there was a whole bunch of setups and things. Again, I don't never dealt with Boost before, but here is the device. So um, this appears is it might be close to a stock experience. Who knows? <clears throat> but I think more at this point in the game, we're looking at build quality. Build quality is where it's at now, and I think uh, Sharp did a fantastic job with this device. Uh, I think it's still setting up the account or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and go through this. And, and if you look here, there's really nothing on here but just this boost zone and this mobile ID thing. So that's pretty much it. Let me connect to Wi-Fi because it's doing a whole bunch of downloads and stuff. Oh, I'm installing this boost ID crap. I don't know what this is, but it's boost ID stuff for all you boost people out there. You know what it is. <laughs> you can keep me up on game here with uh, with Boost, since this is an LT. It doesn't use the five gigahertz band. Yeah, it's okay though, but still, you know, hey, it's pretty much is still good to go. So it looks like this is actually going to be a a, a close stock experience. Um, okay, now it just installed all this Air G and there's Boost Music and One Weather. So it looks like uh, there's Boost Wallet now. Uh, so when you first power it on, you won't have a lot of Boost stuff on there, but um, after it gets going, it's stuttering like this, guys, because it's, it's doing an install. Uh, it's putting on Scout and all this stuff. Gadget Guard. Wow, there's a lot of bloatware going on to here. Oh, they're Boost featured apps, and I'm going to take off all of that because I won't need it. <laughs> Uh, but there it is, guys. This is the Boost Mobile version of the Aquas Crystal. And let's give it another once around, looking at the body here. Man, I don't, I don't even have it snapped together good. The um, design of this device is just gorgeous, man. I mean, wow. I think I've got some music on here, too. Uh, so here's a lock screen. I think I got music on here. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, those sounds are turned on now. Let's go into the music app. And I'm going to show you how the music sounds on here. So the uh, speaker is back here. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good, pretty good speaker. So you see, clarify. It's kind of gives you a, lets you know. Oh, it's got the little equalizer down there. Clarify off. That's pretty cool. So the speaker on here, uh, I have to play a different genre of music and uh, actually give it a a nice once over. But build quality on here, guys. I'm I'm pretty excited about this. This is actually a really 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 nice looking device. So let me take you into settings and get over this awing over how nice it looks, because I think that's what it's about at this point in the game. Looks. So we're running 4.4.2. And it's got a little S there. I don't know what the S is for, but there we go. All right, guys. So this is just a quick, uh, not so quick, but uh, this was a once over for the Sharp Aquas Crystal. It's doing all these updates and everything. So I'm going to go in and try to remove all that Boost Mobile stuff, get it back down to as fresh as possible. And uh, let me show you one more thing before I go to show you how much storage you'll have out the box. Um, my SD card obviously is working. So you get four gigs of that eight gigs of storage. And there you go. And that's the 64 that I put in there. So guys, there it is. Uh, Harman Kardon audio. Very, very nice. I'm liking. So you got clarified visualizer, live stage, wow display icon in the bar. Pretty nice guys. Pretty nice. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Nice. Battery, so this is gonna be uh, be pretty good. All right, guys. Oh, I gotta turn that off.
<laughs> it's kind of weird. Let's let's turn this. Yeah, there you go. Visualizer off. There we go. All right. Enough playing around. You're going to see tons of videos. I'm actually going to match this up against the iPhone 6. Uh, and we'll see. Take care, guys.